Hey, this is Heath Robinson with Topaz. I'm covering for Shannon this week. And in today's quick tip, we'll be taking a look at our most recently upgraded Topaz plugin in Topaz Studio, which is Topaz Glow. The new Glow in Studio has a lot of versatility, and you can go to some crazy extremes and make electric neon exaggerated effects, or you can go really simple and just enhance the lighting or shine of an object. Today, we're going to be using a more natural effect to enhance the bioluminescence of these jellyfish. Now you could always start with any one-click effect, but I wanted to highlight just how easy it is to create your own custom effects in Topaz Studio. So let's get started. First, we're going to add the glow adjustments. You can go to the adjustments menu and add the glow adjustment. Just click to activate. Today, we're going to deal with just the primary glow setting, and we're going to keep the glow type on light. Now let's start editing all these nifty settings and see what we can do. The primary glow strength, we're going to keep at 0.16, so relatively low. The effect sharpness, we're going to keep at 0.14. The electrify, we're going to keep at 0.1. Simplify details, we'll keep at 0.07. The edge color will be 0.15. Now the detail size and strength is where it can get a little crazy, so we're going to keep the numbers a little low on this round. The primary detail strength, I'll move to 0.08. Detail size will be 0.06. Brightness is 0.12. The contrast is 0.55 to increase the contrast in our details. We're going to take the saturation down a little bit to negative 0.1. The line rotation will move to 0.2 and the glow spread will move to 0.2. Now for the finishing touches on this effect. The effect coverage will change to 0.13. The coverage transition will be 0.5. We'll leave the sharpness at 0 and the sharp radius at 0.1. As you can see, we've brightened the image quite a bit and brought out all the beautiful greens in this jellyfish. We've also enhanced them without destroying the detail. I feel like this image has gotten a little noisy though, which meaning it has a bit more fun than I'd like it to have. So we're going to grab the adjustments Reduce Noise and Dehaze to make it a bit clearer and bring out a few more details. Select the Reduce Noise adjustment and let's get into those settings real quick. We're going to change Remove Noise to 0.27, Find Noise to 0.3, Color Noise to 0.38, and Reduce the Lens Blur to 0.14. Now we'll add the Dehaze Adjustment, and move the Strength to 0.28, and Suppress Artifacts to 0.54. Now if you hit the spacebar, you can see a major difference between the original image and our Bioluminescent Edit. And that's it for this week's Quick Tip. We hope you enjoyed it.